Yeah, uh, we're uh, Chris and Stacy Nyhouse from Greenfield, Indiana, and we've got hole number 1373 we picked up one week ago. Yeah, these hooligans will travel with us in all of our adventures. This is Cohen and Hallie, seven-year-old border terrier, six-year-old border terrier. There we go. They go everywhere with us. <laughs> <laughs> we're wanting to get a travel trailer for a long time. We had one years ago, got away from it, and uh, as we approached retirement, we wanted to get back into a travel trailer, and we compared numerous brands, but uh, foremost for us was quality. We wanted something that had a, a good quality reputation amongst the customers that owned. And um, I'm just that type of a person. I, I want to put my money into something that's that's worth the money that I'm spending on it. And, uh, and I think the other thing is that we wanted uh, something that was four seasons. So we wanted to make sure that whatever we got, we could actually take anywhere once we retire um, and just have some fun with it. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, um, we explored several brands for about three years, narrowed it down to a couple of brands. And uh, the biggest thing for us, we struggled with whether or not we wanted to have a toy hauler or not. We, we thought we might want to bring like a side-by-side -side or something along with us. And uh, we eventually decided that it was more important to be able to go wherever we wanted to go. And if we wanted something like that with us, we would just rent that at the location uh, wherever we happen to be camping at. And so um, we, uh, we narrowed it down to the Oliver uh, pretty much after we went to the first, uh, our first factory tour. Mm -hmm. And um, it was uh, unquestionable the quality that was going into and the attention to detail that was going into these campers. And um, so we, uh, you know, we really just fell in love with the whole, the whole package, you know, the, the company, the attention to detail, the design features, the technology that was being included. And, and so uh, it, it was really kind of a no-brainer at that point. Um, that was three years ago. Then we had to come up with the money plan. <laughs> so yes. we worked, uh, we, were, we were at least three years away from retirement. And so we, we worked out a, a process of selling a home, buying a smaller home, making it so we could invest the extra equity towards the travel trailer. And then, um, you know, just worked our way that direction until we could complete all those steps. Um, last year we sold our, our larger home. It was, it was a modest home, but it afforded enough equity that we could afford the Oliver. We paid off all of our debts. Um, we had already purchased a small home to move into to retire in. And uh, then the last thing was to make that decision. Do we really want to pour this money into the Oliver? And last October, we said either, either we're going to do it or we're going to walk away from this idea. And so October, mid-October, we, we ordered. It. That's right. And uh, then it was just a matter of time. <laughs> we hit it off really well um, with uh, Phil Andrews at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a three-year process. And we were in touch on and off throughout that time period. And Phil's just a very knowledgeable and warm and friendly guy. He's easy to work with. I think the, the thing we both would agree on is that it was a very no pressure, uh, answer all your questions and very open and honest relationship. And come and look and check out the, you know, the factory. Uh, we'll show you every detail you want. Um, and we, we got pretty much every question answered yeah. almost immediately. And, and just seeing the quality and well, and one of the, I've been in purchasing my whole life. And so I do a lot of factory tours and just seeing everybody happy at the plant. I mean, it was just, it was just a, a good environment and you knew that they were going to do a quality job for you because it was a, it was a happy place to work. Yeah. Um, we did, uh, finally make the decision about uh, two years in to actively pursue the purchase. And so at that point, um, for whatever reason, we, it, we don't know why, uh, Phil handed this off to uh, Josh White. And Josh great was a, a great guy. It was like working with your brother. Yeah. I mean, he just just a great. warm guy, mm -hmm. knowledgeable, friendly. 
I think we spent Quick more time responses. talking about activities and dogs than anything because we connected so well. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah. you couldn't you couldn't feel more comfortable in in a vehicle purchase type setting than you could at, at the Oliver uh, sales office. It was it was a really a great experience. It was more a, a developing of friendships than it was a mm -hmm. sales and purchase process. Right. So we we just really enjoyed that part of it. Well, our our plan is. Our process uh, is still unfolding because uh, Stacy is still working full time for a couple more years, and I am working full time <laughs> on finishing the remodel so that we can actually escape into retirement. We have relatives that live um, in Texas, good friends and relatives in Arizona mm -hmm. and relatives in San Diego. So. Our hope is to spend, since we live in Indiana, is to spend several months during the colder part of the year uh, down south, kind of making a route from, say, the Gulf Coast west, sightseeing and spending time with relatives um, and seeing places that we've never been before. Um, once we're fully into retirement, we, we plan to do BLM camping, off-grid camping, mountain camping, wherever we've never been before and just experience, you know, kind of every facet of it. And uh, that that's part of the reason why we picked the Oliver because it really has all those kind of capabilities um, built in, you know, that we can do. We, we got the full lithium package with uh, uh, the solar panels and all that so that we can spend time away from uh, the amenities of campgrounds. And, um, you know, we don't want to have that restriction. Oh, we can't do that because we, we don't have that equipment or that this equipment or whatever. So we, we made sure that we got the, the Oliver equipped so that we can do whatever we want. And that was important to us. So As far as uh, a bucket list, though, of places to go, um, my bucket list is uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, I, have, I have potentially friends there. I don't know if they still live there or not. Um, but then also, I'd love to go up to Maine. I think Maine is a beautiful area. So those are, I know it's like almost two opposite ends of the, the United States, but right. uh, as far as the non-family areas, those are, those are two things on my bucket list. Yeah. I'm, I'm really interested in the desert Southwest, and uh, uh, we, I would just like to see what that's all about. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, the, uh, the Western mountain ranges, just, just getting out and seeing all those places uh, that we've just never been to before. Mm -hmm. Obviously, national parks are a big one too, but, but we, uh, we really like getting out and away from everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we would really like to travel with, say, another couple or two uh, that have similar type camping interests and, and go places together and just sort of explore things together in that way. Hiking taking the dogs for walks, uh, talking to people. Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> we really like making connections with yeah. people. Yeah, that's the main it thing. It seems like wherever we go, we find something in common with someone that's camping or traveling or whatever. I mean, we can be standing in line at an airport and we connect with someone that somehow we have something in common with. Usually someplace we've lived before or someone we know mm -hmm. or something or where we've worked or whatever. and. It's, it's kind of uncanny how, how you could find common ground so quickly just talking with someone who is in the next campsite or whatever. And uh, we really enjoy that. But uh, we just like being out in, in um, wild places, exploring things. Usually it's either on foot or on bicycles. We do enjoy the water a little bit, so we may end up having kayaks along with us uh, to do that type of thing. But um, it's really wide open. Uh, but we just like being in, in out in the wilderness and, and, and seeing places like that, you yeah. know, and, and socializing with the people, you know, while we're there. I, I'll go first. Um, and it's something my husband has been saying the, the whole time while we were going through the three year process of deciding is that the resale value of Oliver's, I mean, you don't lose money on it at all just because it's such a high quality um, item that it's it, people want that people right. want that as far as a resale. So we, we've we never really been worried about the investment because it's we know that it's if we have to sell it, it's something that it's going to sell quickly and at a good price. Yeah, yeah uh, a lot of people 
that are experienced with travel trailers or, or, or uh, just RVs in general are probably familiar with the fact that it's a, it's a, a, a it's not an investment. You'll, you'll, you'll lose a lot of money in the typical RV, whether it's a, a class A motor home or just a pull behind. Um, you'll, there's a lot of depreciation early on and that's very uniquely different with the Olivers. Um, but also, it's not just a, a, an RV or a camper that you're buying. You're also going to be part of a relationship with a service company, and that's what Oliver is. And we were at the um, showroom uh, last week when we picked up our uh, Oliver, and everybody that was there agreed that it was a very unique experience dealing with Oliver, their service department, their sales department, unlike any other RV company. Um, Oliver, uh, as a business, goes out of their way to make sure that it's a good experience and a lasting relationship, uh, that, that's a, a good relationship. And that's, that's a big part of your RV experience because things do need serviced, upgraded um, uh, over time. And Oliver is there just the same down the road when you need something as when they're selling you the RV that you're interested in. So that's a very important thing if you're, if you're investing money like this into a, a vehicle, you know, an RV. So um, get to know the people at the company. You will be amazed. <laughs> you will be amazed at the relationship you'll build with the folks at Oliver. And it'll, it'll direct your decision. It really will. We had a great experience in the purchase process and everything that we have experienced since then has just been very positive. Learning the technology that's on this camper and how it's gonna work for us, driving with it the first time we drove it, uh, over 300 miles going home and then two days later, uh, 600 miles or whatever it is down to Lake Guntersville for the, uh, the rally here. It, it was icing on the cake. What a great experience. What a great piece of equipment. Um, quality, 100% all the way. I, I couldn't be happier. I just... Yeah, as, as soon as we got it, we haven't slept in our normal bed. Yeah. <laughs> We've slept in here We, we the slept in, in the driveway when we got home because we wanted to start using it. <laughs> but, uh, we wanted to hear, it's like, is this a normal noise? Is this a normal light that's supposed to be on? Is this normal? Is this normal? And then we just got used to it for those first two yeah. days that we were at home. And so coming here was just like, yeah, this is... We're just like everybody else who's, you know, has a hall that's, you know, three digits and ours is four. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a great community too. Uh, yes. You'll find a lot of similarities in the goals and, mm -hmm. and uh, interests uh, in the Oliver community and uh, getting to know the folks that have the same camper and the same interests. It's, it's, you connect with everybody you talk to. So right. just a great experience. Yes. You'll love it. <laughs>